Hello, and welcome to another episode of Uncharted Territories 2 with Andrew. Uh, today we're just going to do a little bit of something for Gart. Nothing much, just uh, something very special close to me. Some buckets. You know what? Yeah, it's because it's, it's just going to be for the greater good, you know. Alright, so we're back. Back here. I've, I've geared up since the last time with some fine armor. Nothing... Nothing too fancy, nothing unsuitable for combat. I made myself an iron pick, and I made some, myself some buckets, as you can see. And I'm—I think we're just gonna have to go back to the desert because I don't think I'm quite ready for any of the other, any of the other places quite yet. All those buckets—that's beautiful. That really is beautiful. Um, one thing I really am lacking at this point is some food, so I'm going to need to keep a sharp eye out for some of that. I think it's just a ladder chest. Oh, no. so much food. oh there's a boat there. It could come in handy. Um, I don't think there would have been any food up here, but I... Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm also kind of lacking some torches. Got 13 on me. I could use definitely use some more. It occurs to me now that I could have got some from the coal room back there, but I am too lazy to bother. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, so with most LP days, I don't really have any idea what I'm going to talk about. That's Certainly part of my weak weak point in LP making. I can talk, certainly. Um, I guess I'll talk about talking. I, in school, in uh, LP making, in just the Minecraft world, with all the people that we've come to be friends with, hang out with, I'm kind of the quiet guy. Um... Gosh, we can finally make a staircase. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, I've always been kind of the quiet guy. I, I'll i talk if I need to talk, you know? But I'll talk, I won't talk if I don't need to talk. That's basically how I work. But like I said, if I, need, if I do need to talk, I'm perfectly fine doing it. I have no problem with it. In this circumstance, of course, I need to talk, so that's what I'm doing. It's it's not a bad system, really. Of course, I kind of I often get made fun of, at least by the other Jag gamers. Really quiet guy, you never talk. Eh, that's true. I don't I don't talk all that much. That's okay. You know, silence is bliss, in the words of William Shakespeare. Kind of. I'm gonna use an Ender Pearl. Why not? That's probably a really good decision, actually. Need two of these, try to fill up our hunger bar as much as we possibly can. Alright, we're going to try to get into this building here. I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to work out, but we can only hope for the best. Seems to be working out all right. Take it down quick and easy. Anyway, with the uh, with the with the new people that we've come to play with, us as the Jag gamers, uh, like AJ and Kanyo and Critics and Snap and Zenith and Naxa and Rob, we've all and Cheeto, we've all come to we've all come to be pretty good friends with all of them, and I've discovered that. I tend to talk a little bit more when I'm around people that I know at this point. And I mean, that makes sense in most most people's everyday lives anyway. This is not strictly me, you know. Uh, it's perhaps a little bit more me, though. I'm noticing. Let's see, it's not flesh. 
Oh, that was awesome. That was the best rotten set flesh I've ever tasted. Um. I have aqua affinity on this, so this is going to be helpful. That was actually really nice. Andrew's going to clean the house. Oh, no, he's not. Let's uh, eat a golden apple and then we'll go back down there. Yep, 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 yep. Guys, don't worry about me. I am doing fine and dandy. I must be on easy or something, because this is kind of extremely simple. That's just, this is normal for me, though. I'm always on easy. Awesome, that was amazing. Okay. We've lost a little bit of our protection four. But that was like that anyway, so I'm not worried. Um okay. Hopefully that. Alright, I really don't want any of that to explode. <gasps> it's gonna explode. That's not good. <gasps> it didn't explode the TNT. Oh, that's amazing. It did explode the chest, though. I don't know if I can be able to get that stuff back. awesome no <sighs> now that was a lifesaver that didn't that wasn't an issue at all holy guacamole okay that oh my gosh it's amazing now if this was apple quest I have won the game Keep that. Oh gosh, this is awesome. Okay, I'll take the books too. Okay, awesome. Very awesome. That was easier than I expected it to be, actually. Whoa, I've went to 22 levels already. Dang. I was at zero when I started this, I think. That was pretty cool. Anyway, with uh, back to talking. In my school life, I'm, I'm probably even more considered the quiet kid. I don't talk unless, one, I need to talk, which, like I said, I'm perfectly fine doing. Or two, I'm with a bunch of people that I know pretty well. Now, I'll admit to you, I like writing. I like, uh, reading's, reading's pretty, not, pretty fun for me. I just really like English class. I get good grades in that class. Um, so I know what irony is, and this little next little segment, I guess, can be about irony, okay? Got it? Awesome. Holy guacamole. Um... Writing, irony. Oh, jeez. I need to concentrate on this. Oh, I need torches. You guys probably can't see a thing. Oh. Oh, nothing. Holy guacamole, this is awful. Okay. Cleaned out the, the baddies. Is there another? Oh, there is another spawner. Is, is there any more? Okay, that's it. Nope. Oh my gosh, I can't see a thing. Um, let me go back out into the cave, see if I can at least snag some, like, glowstone or something. Oh, jeez. Bane of Arthur Pons it is. Oh, jeez, this is all... Okay, hold on. Okay. No. 
Give it a flint and steel would be nice. That'd be really nice, actually. Holy crap. Okay. Nope. No. That was TNT. Okay, I'm in a bad sh I'm in bad shape again. I don't want to be in bad shape again. I want to be in good shape all the time. So I'm going to stop being stupid. And I'm gonna be smart. You know, like I always do. Okay. Back to talking and such. And those guys don't look angry. Oh, I really don't want to take my chances with them though. That skeleton. Anyway, in school. Oh, the story I was going to tell. Okay, in my cl in a class I like to call, which is commonly known as speech, is called something else in my school, but I won't get into that. Okay, it's nice. What is that toolkit? Yes. Oh, the guacamole. That's new. This, that is a, oh, that's angry, pig man. All right, I take speech in my school, and I don't talk in that class, like, at all. There's nobody I, I really know well, although I've come to be friends with a couple of people in there. I, I talk very rarely in that class. But, of course, since it is speech class, I mean, it's a class where you're expected to talk, you know. Um... I don't need all this stuff. Yeah, I, and at first I was pretty nervous, although I, I kind of knew that, you know, that was going to be a class that was going to be extremely helpful, you know, because I was kind of a timid person in speaking. But if I took that class, then I might get a little bit better at least. So, I took the class. <gasps> that was awesome. And scary. Um, mostly. Mostly, yes. Uh, mostly scary. Basically, just scary. Extremely scary. I really don't want to deal with this. Get the patootie out of there. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Don't break any more spawners without previous caution. Oh, boy. I am lucky to have... I should have died, man. That was that was crazy. Okay. Let me get to some a safe place. If there is any. Do I have any golden apples? Nope. I just need to dig in somewhere. Oh, man. Anyway, speech story. Alright, that class is full of a lot of crazy people, actually. A lot of really talented both speakers and just funny people. I need to just close myself in. Um, for example, there's a guy in there who... Uh, I'll rename... I'll rena I'll, all these people will remain nameless, I think. But, uh... There's a guy in there that really loves Twinkies, and he was really sad when they went, when they went away, you know. So he gave multiple speeches about how sad he was that, about the end of Twinkies, and he, they were, all of them were hilarious every time. Just so many talented, really talented speakers in that class. They were really good. They hardly needed to take the class at all to learn how to speak, but I guess it was good for them. Anyway, I, w I was I was enjoying the class from the start. Actually, I didn't have any problems with it. I like this, the first speech. I was a little bit rocky, but it was about what, what's your favorite motto? What, what what do you go? What do you live by? And of course, there are people who said YOLO, which I 
rolled my eyes at because I'm from the smart parts of the internet, I guess you could say. Uh, let's see. Uh, I chose the motto, destiny is a one-time deal, turkey is forever. Ooh, uh, that was said by Craig Benzine, otherwise known as Wheezy Waiter. I like the quote, it's a little silly. So I thought it fit, fit me pretty well. Because so, sometimes a little, I'm a little bit silly. Uh, anyway, that's not important. I, that first speech of mine was pretty shaky. Um, second speech. Let me see if I can even remember. You know what? I'm not even going to try to remember all of my speeches that I've given. Because we're nearing the end of the year. And we've given a lot of speeches at this point. So oh, I didn't get anything to light it up with. Nope. None of you are going to be successful. Anyway, uh, oh, yes, I did. Flint and steel. Not perfect. But heck, it's something. Where's the spawner? Okay, at least you're nice. There you are. Okay. TNT. Alright, I can live with that. Nope. No. Okay. I'll get back to you in a moment. We're near, we're near my destination again, so I thought I'd start talking. Okay, uh, Profcom, uh, that's what it's called. All right, it's Professional Communications, Profcom, speech, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway. I, I remember giving a speech. This is the turning point. My speeches were basically described best as mediocre until up until that point. Uh, Final exam speech, and you had to give a speech that was previously given by somebody else, you know? That's not hard. Um, it was assigned to you. You didn't get to choose what speech, speech you'd give. So I, uh, oh, wow. Bucket, 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 ah, that's nice, okay. Um, did I not get boots? It's a pity. Okay. Um. I did not get that fancy pick. That's a, that's that's the pittiest pity. A dog's still alive. How did you how did you get here? Oh. I can feed you some rotten flesh. Awesome. Okay. Um. Just want to see if there's anything back here. Doesn't. What are you doing? Yeah, shut up. Okay. Uh, turning point. I gave. Um, oh man, I think it's Randy something. It's Randy something. Randy Posh. His last lecture, and that I really enjoyed the speech for one thing. Really nice speech. Second thing. Get him. Okay. I really enjoyed his, just reading his speech. And then I really enjoyed giving it. I felt like I really put a lot of effort into knowing the speech, unlike a lot of people in the class. Um, and I performed it pretty well based on what we learned. And all in all, it went really, really well. Anyway, that was... In fact, I ended up getting the highest score on that final exam in my class. So I think other people thought it did pretty well as well. Pretty well as well. Jeez, what pig run. Um, now flash forward to this, new, this newest 
semester. Oh boy. Nope. Be careful. Be freaking careful. Be careful, my puppy. Be careful, my puppy. Not alone. You alone? You might be alone. Oh jeez. Good more. Zombie fish. I can feed you. Awesome. That was not alone. Bedrock, okay. Um, oh, okay, this new semester, I, I started giving, like, spe only, all my speeches consisted only of good speeches, basically. There were a couple of times that I was a little bit wary. Like, oh, one that really struck nicely with the, uh, the crowds was one that I had to do on a pet peeve of mine. For some reason, uh, a pet peeve of mine is... When, pe when people uh, stick two of the same fi finger together, stop it. Like, uh, if you were to stick your pointer finger next to s next onto your other pointer finger, like tip to tip, uh, I would I cringe like literally. I uh, use two of the like most unfortunate words together in one way, whatever. Um, that and toasters but I put a lot of effort into that speech like I enunciated like crazy it was people were laughing all over the place I was really excited and that's something that a lot of the speech people in that class lacked was a sense of excitement and luckily I was able to show that in my speech so that hit hard with the audience um, very recently oh. Uh, just wanted to get this gold, dude. Come on. Very recently, I gave oil. Well, Alright. Very recently, teacher introduced uh, um, an impromptu speech battle. Okay. And this is this. Impromptu speech is a speech you get the topic you get like two minutes out in the hall to basically Get a sense of what you're going to say and then you go back into the classroom and you give a speech about it Well, that's not good um, Nope That was bad Um Wow, okay, uh, back to the impromptu speech. So I was already known for being pretty good at that. We did a little bit of it earlier in the year, and it went, that went well. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. Anyway. Impromptu speech battles started. I was immediately pitted against basically what was known as the, a, a, one of the best speakers in the class. He was he was really good at being exciting, enunciated very well. He spoke clearly, and he he was really captivating as a speaker. And I I knew I know for one that I really enjoyed listening to him. So in the first round of the impromptu battle, which was uh, basically set up like a bracket. It was near uh, March Madness. I'm sure the teacher was a little bit hyped up over that. Uh, uh, this other speaker, one of us had to go out, two of the best speakers in the class, and everybody was going, oh my gosh, this is going to be the be battle of the lifetime in the first round. Uh, 
Anyway, we went up against each other. Uh, let's see if I can remember what the heck this was about. Oh, right. All right. I gave a speech about if I could have three wishes, what would they be? First of all, I would wish for a free birds burrito because those things are amazing. I'm just hopping around here. What am I doing? Um, the free birds burrito because those are definitely amazing. Second of all, I would wish for a bathtub of chicken nuggets. And that kind of had to do, it was a reference to other people in the class, basically. So that also hit hard with the audience, and that's something that you really got got to look into when speaking. Hit hard with the audience, man, because they will vote for you if, they, if you do. Stop. I'm not interested in that. Alright, I need to get out of here. I got one of the spawners, that's enough for now. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. All right, I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, anyway, we're talking about the impromptu battles still. Uh, my third wish. And this is what really got the audience kicking. Uh, third wish. I would buy stock. Google and Apple. Okay. okay. All right. You're listening. Buy a stock in Google and Apple. Rise up the corporate ladder in both the companies until I am basically in charge of for both. Then I would. Oh, Jesus! Can't hide yourself in a diamond. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh, okay. Stop it. Um, I'm trying to get to my Bane of Arthropods sword so I can take out these guys. I'm not being successful. Okay. Buy stock in Google and Apple. Oh, jeez. Uh, rise up the corporate ladder so I can, until I can combine both the companies. Create Google. Okay. I would create, using Google, the Google Glass 4S. And that would include uh, the crappy Apple version of Maps, so it wouldn't sell very well. But then I would then create a Google Glass 5, which would have good maps, but it would also include my brainwashing software. This is where it gets good. Uh, oh, that's not good. No! I'll be right back. I have returned! Alright, we're at Google, right? I think so. Uh, that's, so that's my, <laughs> kind of, got to this in a roundabout way. Uh, that's my plan to brainwash the world, by the way. Um, I used the Google Glass 4S to, I mean, the Google Glass 5 to brainwash all of America, basically, into doing my will. Because, I mean, they're always going to have it in front of their eyes. Uh, they'll always have my brainwashing software in front of their eyes. So, in my s short summary of the uh, of my three wishes in the class, I simply said, "Oh, bug off!" Oh man. Okay. I simply said, uh, three wishes: burrito, chicken nuggets, world domination. I mean, that's really all you can get out of life, you know. This place freaks me out. I'm glad I got out of it without dying at least once. Even once, I meant. Okay. 
Let's get ourselves organized. Um, let's make ourselves a crafting bench where we can put down a chest where we can put some of the stuff that we don't want to lose like that 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 definitely uh, that 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 sure why not uh, that let's put that there boom uh, let's take that with us people always get angry when I don't put my hot bar in the way that they want me to so <laughs> Jack. Okay, that works. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I should probably take the other sword. Okay. Alright, so that round, I've told you what I gave my speech about. Oh. Wow. Um, how did I place? That's the question. place well the other the other person he got stuck with a lousy topic he had to talk about why they should lower driving age to like 16 or something like that, something crazy like that something really boring so he did wasn't able to put, do such a a great speech as he normally would have which is very disappointing for everybody including myself however people people knew that he got stuck with a lousy topic, including the teacher. So we got put into a tiebreaker round together. Um, that basically means is a uh, holy crap. Uh, that means that we go ahead head to head in, in the same topic. I'm just going to uh, talk on the way here. I'm eager to finish at least this story. And then I might continue the story in the next episode. Uh, the tiebreaker round was us going head-to-head -head in the same topic, or a, kind of a debate round. So we got stuck with books versus movies. Now, I had given a speech on the importance of reading and literature in my, previously, so I got stuck with debating why movies are better for the sake of irony. Uh other person got stuck with my books are better. We both gave very good speeches. Now the class voted. Uh, and it was more of a tie than the first round even was. So it was decided that since I technically won the first round, I should continue into the into the uh, rounds to come and I had no problem with that what is that diving helmet jeez okay um Perfect. Mm, no. Okay, okay, I can do it. I did it. Okay, I have a diamond helmet now. Alright. So, I'll leave you this episode with a little of knowledge that I got to continue on to the next round of the impromptu battle. And I'll leave it there. Bye. Dangerous, right? That was too dangerous. Oh, 
Oh, you're kidding me. This is on. It's on, man. The pig man, you're, you, you're better board up the rafters because I am coming in and I am coming in strong. Come on, Spal. You gotta be down here somewhere. There you are.